This episode has been brought to you by JustInform.com. If you're tired of being censored, tired of having your data stolen and sold, go to JustInform.com, a social media site where all voices are welcome. So, um, <clears throat> lately we've been having to critique CNN, like them giving Kamala Harris her own town hall in Iowa, no less, which is the first place that, uh, you know, that's the first Democratic primary. The Iowa caucuses are huge um, in determining who will really succeed in the Midwest going forward. Um, we've had to critique MSNBC, well, just because MSNBC always deserves to be critiqued. We've had to critique Fox News, um, which really they could be critiqued every day. But, you know, um, we try to hit the important stuff. And today we do have to circle back once again and come back to TYT. Um, I don't want to be too harsh on them. I don't want to be too harsh on them this time. Um, but they they say things sometimes that make me think that they don't know what the hell is going on. Um, in this particular video, they, they covered Kamala Harris and they got some, some of the, a lot of the critiques they did on her were right, of course, because it's not, in my opinion, hard to critique Kamala Harris. Uh, TYT is firmly in the Bernie Sanders camp still. Um, that's where they got their 4 million subscribers from. Um, then subsequently they pivoted to Russiagate establishment news. Um, but they're, of course, always going to be in the Bernie Sanders camp because if they abandon Bernie, then they they will lose their progressive following. They're all, they've already taken a hit on numbers. So, of course, they're going to back Bernie Sanders no matter what. Um, but they said some stuff about Kamala um, that I believe to be a little bit problematic. And you may say I'm splitting hairs, but I'll let you take a listen to the video. You can hear my critiques and then you can give me your opinions at the end. Take a look. It's on running with a platform that essentially describes her as a progressive, but is she progressive? That's something that we're gonna dig into in just a moment. But first, uh, some more information on Harris. She served as a San Francisco district attorney and California attorney uh, general before being elected to the Senate in 2016. And her uh, campaign will highlight her career as a prosecutor with the slogan, for the people. Now, that was purposely, that slogan was purposely decided as something contrary to what Hillary Clinton ran on. Hillary Clinton's campaign slogan was, I'm with her, making it all about her, whereas Kamala Harris wants to focus on making it for the people. And and it has a reference to um, her time as a prosecutor right. uh, for the people of California, et cetera, in this case, obviously, for the US. She's got references to Shirley Chisholm and Martin Luther King, etc. It's a well-crafted intro into the race. The consultants who were probably paid handsomely did a nice job with this opening. And then she goes on to say, "Look, you know, people are going to pigeonhole me based on certain certain factors." I think she's referring to race, but. You chose to come out in Martin Luther King Day and make the reference to Chisholm, which I love. I, if you were like Martin Luther King and you were for radical change and you believe in the fierce urgency of now, fantastic. If you were like Chisholm, I would love it. I would support you in a second. Or perhaps you'd like to take advantage of that and then uh, and then be for the tranquilizing drug of gradualism. We'll find out. Say. I think Kamala Harris' record is uh, totally mixed, and so you could look at that as glass half full or glass half empty. Uh, as usual, uh, the New York Times has decided that it's 98% uh, full. Uh, so they look at that mixed record, and in the beginning, I was actually hopeful. I'm reading the article. I want to see, like, I want, and I don't take any of the positive stuff that Kamala Harris did away from her. That's real, right? And so, and and she pursued the big banks as a prosecutor. That's really positive, and I gave her credit back then for it. And all the things that Anna just told you about um, criminal justice reform, wonderful. So, um, they said that Kamala Harris did some good things as far as fighting against banks. I'm here to tell you that's not true. And it's always interesting me, to me whenever um, TYT either ad hominem attacks or ad hominem supports somebody because they claim to be all about facts and um, 
it seems like when it comes to asserting certain truisms about people's character, they're not always accurate. They did a similar, sim something similar with Maduro, for example. They start off a video about Venezuela and they, they did a decent job in that video, um, talking about all the connections, the right wing connections that the um, opposition leader to Maduro has and how he himself is right and is supported by Trump, by the Koch brothers, by all the right wing think tanks, which is true. They did a good job, but they start off videos doing something that I believe is dangerous, uh, which is, oh, Nicolas Maduro is a bad guy. He's terrible. He's done terrible things. He always does terrible things. That's what he's known for. And they just accept it on its face. And the problem with that is you basically, when you start off a sentence with Nicolas Maduro is a bad guy and you don't substantiate it, a lot of people don't hear anything else you say because they're like, well, it doesn't matter if all of these other facts are true, Nicolas Maduro is a bad guy and should be taken out of government. And what that does is sets up the, the court of popular opinion to believe that all decisions being made about Venezuela are convoluted only because uh, Nicolas Maduro is a bad guy. But, he, the, but there's no like factual proof that Nicolas Maduro is a bad guy. If you've ever heard anybody say Nicolas Maduro is a bad guy, they really never say he is a bad guy because of something he did. What they say is, oh, well, look at the economy. What they don't, they don't talk about how America affects their economy, et cetera, et cetera. So it's the same thing with Kamala Harris. They say, oh, well, she's done some good things. She took on the big banks. That's a lie. She let Steve Mnuchin off. And you live in California, Jenk. You should know this. You should know she hasn't done any good things and you even cover all the bad things you she's done why because let's be honest you are trying to save face and it's probably to be honest they're probably saving face because they don't want to be attacked for attacking her because she's black to be honest with you so they try to give her credit where they believe credit could possibly be due but they didn't do enough research to find out if she is deserved any credit any progressive agenda that she even pretends to be about didn't come until after she was anointed OK, she was anointed as senator. And I do mean anointed because she lost by 50,000 votes. And then out of nowhere, 20 days later, they found 150,000 votes and she won. You can't say things like, oh, she's done some good things or, oh, she took on big banks because those are things that people will hear and be like, well, maybe she is a mixed bag. But she's not a mixed bag. She's not half progressive, half centrist. She takes a bunch of corporate money. She was paid by the by the Warner Brothers company that owns CNN and then gave her her own or is giving her her own private exclusive town hall meeting. I'm not. They did a decent job covering her record, but this is why I think it's just very important that if we're going to make a claim that is like radically against the norm. We do have to start citing sources if we're going to make bold claims like that. And also, you have to be careful about who you're getting your electoral news from. Um, I saw a lot of this when I first started doing my show in 2016, roughly, the end of 2016, mid-2016. Um, and it really, it got bad in 2017. But there are a lot of people on the left and on the right that are simply going to give you their disillusioned beliefs about how they think things will go based off of what they want to see happen, based off of what will be most beneficial for their channels, their networks, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but the truth of the matter is they don't know what the hell they're talking about. They don't. They don't understand politics. They may know how to deliver the news, but understanding politics takes something different. It takes you... Being, having been involved in it in some way, form, or fashion. It takes you being an organizer, being an activist, maybe even potentially having ran for office before. And so they say things, not knowing how those ripple effects will echo throughout different communities, whether progressive, neoliberal, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It gives people arguments and ammo to say, well, no, Kamala wasn't always bad. She, she did this for the banks. TYT said it, so it must be true. But that's not true. She hasn't done any good things as prosecutor. I mean, the short list of things she did was keep wanting to keep prisoners in prison to support slave labor. She uh, refused to force cops to wear body cams like 
I'll see what the problem is. Um, she took a lot of money from law enforcement agencies and police departments. She, I mean, kept an innocent man in jail, let people get off with tamp, with, let her prosecution get off with tampering with evidence. Like she, her record, if she did one good thing, it is far outweighed by the hundreds of bad things she did and allowed to happen while she was prosecutor. I am not going to pretend that someone taking all this corporate money, not that, they, I, like I said, I will say, TYT did critique her for the most part fairly. They usually sometimes, you know, when it comes to establishment candidates or, or establishment ideology or echoing what the establishment echoes, a lot of times they've been getting it wrong. But this is, a, this is an important distinction to make. They got most of the critique right, but the critique that may affect everything, because that's the first thing that's going to get brought up, in my opinion, that the, that the disenfranchised in California will remember, her bailing out Steve Mnuchin and him directly donating to her campaign as a Republican, the only Democrat that he donated to. People will remember that. Yeah, you say you did go on to critique her, but you even said, oh, some people can look at that as a glass half empty half. No. The establishment will look at it however they want to. That's why they created the article. They tailored it so that people will believe what they want them to believe. Like, right? Okay. Nobody else should look at it half full. And you shouldn't convey that because it has real, you shouldn't even pretend that that's the case. You should take a stand. That's what, you, that's what Anna in her 30 for 30 interview said. We take a stand on the issues. We take a stand when it comes to candidates. Like, take a stand. No, Kamala Harris is bad. She is not just bad for Democrats. She is bad, period. So great coverage as far as t finally getting to what she did wrong. But that buildup is like, uh, you it's it's just they and people who are involved in politics know because people will quote these things when arguing with you. Well, she did some good things. Well, what did she what did she do? She held big bank or she she held big banks accountable. And then he he lies. He actually lies and says that he covered that and he gave her credit for that. But you couldn't have given her credit. For something she didn't do because she didn't do it and for you to have said that you gave her credit for that that would mean you have had to cover kamala harris in like 2013 2014 what did she build them up 2014 2015 ish roughly around that time period so you're going to tell me you covered kamala harris when she was a nobody to the rest of the country i don't believe you but you, you, this is why you have to be careful with who you are getting your electoral news from. And if they claim some radical truism, like she did some good things or she held banks accountable, then you need to verify where they're getting that from. Don't accept that as true. Because usually when someone establishes their patterns, um, they are true to those patterns. They may deviate for their convenience, especially when we're talking about centrists. But the reality is, Kamala Harris hasn't done anything good. Even during her time in the Senate, she hasn't introduced anything radically moving, any radical change. Think about it. Tulsi's running for or Tulsi's running for president. She's introduced things in the House that are progressive, dealing with election justice, foreign policy, things like that. And of course, it's back Medicare for all legislation. But for, at first, Kamala Harris didn't even back Medicare for all, by the way. While she was in Senate, she got pushed because she was getting hammered on it. And they're like, if we're going to make sure that you pretend to be the right progressive, we can't have you going the way of Cory Booker, who screwed himself with like the first vote in the Senate <laughs> by voting against Bernie Sanders. So the first thing they tell you in 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 chem progressive camouflage 101 class uh, is don't ever vote against Bernie Sanders. And she's been following that. Has she introduced anything herself? She says. Uh, in the New York Times article, they said she wants to give a, a $500 credit to earners with less than $100,000 a month or a year. Um, and he wants, she wants to give that $500 credit to everybody. I don't believe her. Because you've been, she, she's been an enemy of the poor people forever. But also, if that's something that you firmly believe in, right? Do you think that that should have to wait until you get in office? What if you lose? If that's something you believe, if you believe in Medicare for all, 
I hope that you sponsored that bill with Bernie Sanders. I don't think she did the last time I checked. She supported it eventually. If you believe in what would be called a UBI, they call it tax credit because universal basic income tax is bad with centrists and right wingers. Or it tests bad, not tax is bad, excuse me. But saying credit, people are like, well, I get credits every year on my taxes. That sounds good. But if you're really for UBI, because that's what it is, introduce a bill. Show people that you are about the actions, not just about words. But she hasn't done good things. That's my point. Even her ads, which I'll cover on another segment, are out of touch. Demonstrative of what she has not done. The people she has not talked to. The life she has never lived. Because you would never put people in these situations that you have put them in if you have lived through these experiences or know someone who has. So, like I said, for the final time, TYT did a decent job, but like it's weird to me. Like you have to be more decisive, if I may humbly suggest. You have to be more decisive when you are calling out corruption. Because when you say things like, I, uh, I think she's done some great things and I gave her credit for it. She took on big banks. For progressive, those words resonate. And some people will take those as true. So don't give the establishment ammo and don't accidentally deceive progressives. Because they may not see any, any other part of that video and assume that to be, the, no, oh, well, she's a mixed bag and she took on big banks. I will accept her in 2020, even if she cheats to get there. Can't allow that. This is some of their better coverage. Happy with that. Um, this, I, like for real, this has been some, some of their better coverage because they've been trash for like the last two years, to be honest with you. But this has been some of their better coverage and they, um, they are kind of late to the Kamala party as far as holding her accountable. But I do hope they continue to hold her accountable and tell the truth. But when you echo things like Kamala's great, Maduro's evil with no proof, Russiagate is real, using no proof but establishment proof, like those things resonate and people believe them. Thanks for watching that segment of Mikasa Sukasa. You can donate to our Patreon and keep helping the network grow by clicking on the link in the description below. And also make sure you join us at justinform.com. And finally, make sure you subscribe to us on Roku and be part of the very first independent news network on Roku TV. But more than anything else, always remember, find your balance. Peace.